块边吃边聊吧。好久没有写算法题了，最近一直醉心于围棋，没能找出时间来做这个题呀、啊。哎呦喂，我得去。Hello, can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you now. I can hear you too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, let's start. I think it's your your turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, I won't count. Uh, do you want me to read this, or you can? Uh, yeah, so just uh, read yeah. this and uh, let me know what you think. So, so if you have any question, ask me and uh, and uh, let me know your idea first. Then you write the code. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, given a two uh, D array binary matrix of zeros and ones, 
uh, implement a function get number of islands that return number of islands of ones in binary matrix. Um, an island is defined as a group group of adjacent values uh, that are all ones. Uh -huh. A cell in binary matrix is considered adjacent to another cell if they are next to each other either on the same row or column. Mm -hmm. Note that two values of one are not part of the same island if they are sharing on the mutual corner and they are diagonal neighbors. Okay, explain and, and call the most efficient solution possible to analyze system. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, there is an example uh, we have here binary matrix zero one zero mm -hmm. so I'll put a six since this is the number of elements and binary matrix. okay. Uh, okay, so we have this uh, binary matrix, uh, and uh, I'm asked to count islands. Islands uh, are uh, zeros. Um, so basically, an island uh, is uh, uh, zeros which are adjacent to each other uh, by the row or column, but not uh, uh, diagonal. Uh, and uh, so Uh, there is uh, uh, one island because uh, yeah uh, because uh, there is no any other adjacent ones here uh, okay uh, here we have another one island Okay, there is one another, a third one, fourth, okay, five and six. Okay, uh, so, uh, the idea is Okay, uh, the idea is uh, to go through the binary matrix. Uh, we can uh, use uh, some uh, visit, visit technique. 
So basically, we we can start uh, from the first element of this binary matrix, <clears throat> and we uh, can go through the matrix recursively. So basically, we can go to to the right and uh, down. And when we visit, uh, when we visit some uh, element, we can mark this. Uh, let, let, let me let me think. Sure. Okay, so the idea is to go through this matrix uh, and uh, uh, when we reach uh, any one, uh, we can uh, we uh, so uh, to, to find out uh, if this island uh, has adjacent <clears throat> adjusted ones <clears throat> uh, we can So basically, we start from this uh, zero. Uh, we uh, mark. Yeah, we can. Uh, we mark this uh, uh, element as visited. Now we can uh, go to the second uh, one element of this first array, and if this uh, will use one. We start counting once for this uh, uh, we, we, we start uh, visiting the uh, adjacent ones. Uh, and uh, when, for example, if this uh, we reach this one, uh, we start visiting uh, elements to the right and to and to the, uh, down uh, we mark this uh, element as well as visited so we start from here we go to the right we here we we see that it uh, it's uh, one or oh, zero. Uh, so we go back and go down and check if uh, this uh, element uh, is uh, one. And uh, yeah, but and we mark these uh, two elements as visited. So we defined that uh, this island 
uh, has no any any ones. Uh, we uh, keep this uh, counter of islands. <clears throat> we go to the next. Uh, we see that we visit uh, visit this element. We go to the next one. <clears throat> we see that um, there is. Uh, uh, there is one, so we start uh, again. Uh, uh, search adjacent uh, once. Uh, can we make it visit it? We go to the right. This the zero we mark as visited, but we return. We go back and now we go down. It's it's one. Okay. So we go to the right. We go. Mm. <clears throat> so uh we have 15 minutes left, so I'm going. I I can I can tell that your solution, uh, you mm -hmm. are you are marking the, marking the uh, position you have visited. Um, I'm not sure is it necessary because um, mm -hmm. because you will do recursion right. So out outside of the recursion, you will just iterate through the binary matrix. So you are going to mm -hmm. check everyone and do the recursion for the neighbors. And uh, if you are going to do the recursion for the neighbors, think about uh, during the recursion what you can do to um, to make sure that uh, no no duplicated uh, um, position has been counted as islands. So how how can you make sure no duplicates? That way you can you can just convert convert the other uh, position that is island which is already adjacent to the to the visited island convert them from one to zero then you will have like a very clean uh, binary matrix mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right so you have so in instead of visited we uh, uh, change value to zero right? yeah yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you convert them to one to zero? So the so so the so the difficulty of this question is how do you do the recursion? Because you are going to check the neighbor, but the, so mm -hmm. every position. Yeah, yeah. Most positions yeah, has uh, have like a, a four four neighbors, right? But uh, some yeah. positions have uh, uh, three neighbors. Some positions have only exactly. two neighbors. So how do you check? And not only checking the neighbors, you have to check mm -hmm. the neighbors' neighbors, right? You can. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. That's why. So from yeah. from the each point we have uh, four uh, directions to go. Yeah. Uh, and whenever we go. Uh, to the left, to right, or any direction, we uh, from this new point, we we should go uh, to an, another uh, uh, four directions. <clears throat> okay, uh, yeah. Uh, so let me try to uh, implement this recursion. Sure. Uh, uh, version. Uh, function. So we have this. Uh, yeah, we uh, sh uh, as an input as input uh, to this function. Uh, it would be uh, position of the uh, element in the binary matrix, so it would be O and column. Um, and uh, 
on column yeah and uh, here we uh, go uh, up down right and left Uh, and our base uh, cases should be uh, if row uh, less than zero, column less than zero, or row. number is binary matrix uh, okay yeah uh, all this row numbers and if uh, row or column greater than this uh, and the number of uh, CR length from just length Okay, return if binary matrix row and so on. Uh, Zero and we do this return. <clears throat> okay, so we go to the right. Once we uh, We change the um, uh, we change value of this element to zero, and we go uh, to uh, up, then down. Mm -hmm. uh, The right it will be called plus one and to the left or minus one. Uh, okay. I I think uh, that's it. Yeah, so you uh, have uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and for now mm. we should go through the binary matrix. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> and if 
if binary matrix if this element uh, equals to one and we start this recursion okay. here we have counter of islands we count uh, this island and go and start this recursion with this current current position Uh, yeah, we can uh, try to some examples. So we should return, return us to islands. In this case, it should return us one island, just one. Okay. And if uh, if we have just one element, okay. So uh, should I run tests? Yeah, try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's failed on third. Okay, so we have just one. Mm. I think okay. you, you have yeah. the right idea, but the only part is this lens. Um, yeah. If you yeah. use both lens as reference, then you would, you will. Yeah. You know, you know, one. So this this lens should be the row, row number, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Here, here mm -hmm. is a column number. So yeah. 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 So probably need to change this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. well,
Yeah, I think uh, I think the basic structure of your code is correct. Um, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll have to go soon, so I'll probably switch. But I'll tell you maybe what part could be wrong is um, is I think it's it's here because here you you're not giving any constraints of the row number and the column number. I know here you actually write something like uh, some constraints from here. But mm -hmm. uh, um, if you write it from here, um, that that will also work. But uh, um, yeah, I think that will also work. Um, yeah, but I think that could be the the problem because uh, in my solution, mm -hmm. I I write constraints uh, for mm -hmm. for every one of them. And uh, mm -hmm. other than that, I don't see anything could go wrong. Actually, yeah. Yeah, so can we can we switch row now? Yeah. yeah sure. Move zeros to the end. Mm -hmm. Given a static size of array, move all the zeros in the array to the end of the array. You should preserve the relative order of items. Move zero to the end. More efficient than native naive. Uh, okay. I mean, so for this question, I think the the first solution comes to mind is um, I can do one iteration, and uh, for that iteration, I find all the number that's not not zero, and I mm -hmm. I append them to another array, and then. Mm -hmm. That because I know the length of the original array, so I can compare mm -hmm. their length. And uh, if the length is um is smaller than the original array, then I just append zero to the end until it is the same length as the original array. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the first mm -hmm. solution. Um, I'm mm -hmm. not sure mm -hmm. if it's expecting a solution that's more efficient than that. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 is uh, may maybe uh, there is um, a solution that um, uh, uses less uh, space. Less. Space. Uh, okay. I I mean yeah. Uh, not to have this uh, uh, new array. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah yeah. We can mm -hmm. we we can we can change the change the position so we, we can change the value in the position uh, in mm -hmm. the uh, in the same array because yeah. every array we iterate through uh, we are iterate through the array that's uh, uh, that's uh, there are only two possibilities po possibilities first possibility mm -hmm. is the the element we are iterating is exactly in the correct position another possibility mm -hmm. is the element we are uh, we are iterating is is behind it is after the the correct position so in that case we can we can just assign the assign the element that's not zero to the correct position without changing the uh, without disrupting the process of iteration right that's what i think so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. so you you mean two pointers right and two pointers. Uh, when you say uh, mm -hmm. correct position yeah, you yeah. mean mm -hmm. yeah two pointers so i will uh, i will create two variables one variable it uh, its job is to assign the uh, value to the correct position so every time it it assign a value it will increment and another mm -hmm. variable, uh, another another variable that holds a position that we iterate through, 
and uh, every time it sees a value that's not zero, then it will will tell uh, tell the first pointer that uh, uh, you can you can insert that value now, and then it, uh, you you can insert the value and increment yourself, and then yeah, so. And after mm -hmm. the after the second pointer reach the end of the original array, I think the process is uh, finished. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I I think it's easier to uh, track uh, the, your your flow uh, through the example. Uh, <clears throat> sure. So you want me to Maybe. write so. the code or? Because I think this question is uh, actually uh, easy, so I can probably just yeah. Say, yeah. 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 So basically. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. The, we can, you can start code right okay. away. Okay. So um, I think one pointer. So let's call it um. Uh, call it what um. Insert position. Insert position. Start from zero, and. Uh, so for loop for for each element for each n in the array if n is not equals to zero um, insert position so array dot insert position will equals to n and uh, insert position should increment itself, and uh, so, and then if n is not equal to zero, and uh, after that, I think I, I I'm trying to make it doing only one iteration, but. Uh, I mm -hmm. don't think that's possible because that we need to do the first iteration to to find all the numbers that's bigger than zero. So I don't think uh, uh, doing one iteration is possible. So I'll do the second iteration. Uh, I think uh, no, uh, it's uh, it's possible. It's possible. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, and um, it's possible. Um, uh, Yeah, so it, it it's possible. Then in the process, I'll have to swap the numbers. I yeah. think um, that will make it very complicated. I think uh, it will require um, another pointer, three pointers, mm -hmm. to swap mm -hmm. the numbers. Um, is it uh, in the in the in the solution tab? It says like uh, three pointers or two pointers. Uh, yeah, um, it it's just two pointers. Two pointers. It's just two pointers. Yeah, and but your idea is uh, you 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 you. Uh, and uh, so it so in the solution tab, it's only two pointers and only one iteration. Yes, exactly. That's strange because um, two pointers. So if I, I, I think um, yeah uh, you can try to uh, implement this. Uh, I'll, I'll first uh, implement two uh, iteration. Now I'll figure out how to uh, make it better. So mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so now for um, for n in range of uh, from zero to the the length of uh, length of um, array minus insert position. Um, so array should append. Uh, not no no no. Uh, oh from from oh I can do it like that. From insert position to the to the length of array. Um, so uh, I'll change all 
all those numbers to array of insert array of n should be for i in range array of i is equals to zero. So at that point, all those numbers will mm. insert the position. So what if the number? Oh yeah. I'm not sure. So if I return array, uh, to run the code. Oh, I need to uh, move zero to end. Um, Error. Uh, I'll this. <laughs> do you know what what this arrow could uh, do? Uh, indentation. Uh, yeah. To be honest, I I didn't. Uh, face it before. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, it's quite strange. What if we, what if we just uh, remove this empty rows? Uh, any outer identification level? Line three, not line four. It's strange. I'll just uh, try to reset the code. Mm -hmm. And uh, your code goes there, here. Just try like that. Remove, only remove this. I made it. Uh, I think, yeah. Um, oh, the, uh, so this, oh yeah, I need to remove this. Yeah. Um, okay, let's try. Not yeah. sure, it's strange. Yeah. Um, let's try it. Stretch. I think the second uh, for loop should be outside of yeah. Indentation arrow. I indented as a matter. Uh um let's see. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let me try. What if we just? Uh, yeah. I I remove 
this for now and we'll return it back again line 10 oh i see i see probably it's because um mm -hmm. uh, no, no no that's not uh, um, What if we, we remove this with Kazaki? Now it's working. And, mm -hmm. and can you can you paste the um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here it is. Now is I equals to zero. Oh yeah, that's right. So from the code. For loop, something wrong with the for loop. For n in array. Isn't there the same position, right? It's weird. Yeah. Maybe it's a bug. Yeah, but what if we change to Uh, um, I'm not sure if it's possible to do one iteration with two pointers. Um, can you can you show me uh, that solution? Like, how do you do one iteration with two pointers? I think if we need to do one iteration, we need the three pointers. Uh. If uh, yeah, we we need uh, two pointers uh, to uh, be able to uh, do uh, to to uh, accomplish this task through uh, one iteration. Uh, there is uh, some hints. Ram uh, is Ram uh, suggests. Um, So basically, uh, what if we just uh, go through the example here? Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, we we uh, go through this array. We have two uh, two pointers, one uh, for track uh, uh, for track uh, zeros zeros, and uh, another one uh, uh, 
we just uh, go through the array. So uh, we uh, start from this uh, first element of the array and go to the next. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, no, we. Uh, uh, we. Uh, check this element and if uh, this is uh, not uh, uh, non-zero we go to the next uh, element uh, here and uh, we uh, so here we uh, reach this zero number uh, and uh, and we uh, uh, oh, okay, yeah, uh, I forgot to, to move this uh, second uh, pointer here. So we reach this uh, zero, we just keep this uh, position uh, uh, of this second pointer here and go uh, to the next element and when we reach non-zero element we just swap these two elements mm. uh, if we have for example uh, um, uh, so basically when we swap these numbers we have this well uh, we have uh this uh here zero and uh, here we have two uh we increment this uh pointer and uh, here we go to the next uh, uh element we see here uh zero again so we go to the next one and if this is not uh, non-zero we Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot to yeah, <laughs> forgot to increment this uh, pointer here, and we swap here uh, swap two elements. So this is uh, the idea. <clears throat> so one pointer is the position. Uh, so one pointer always point to zero. Yeah. And uh, every time you you only switch to the so you only switch the non-zero element with that zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But in that yeah. case, wouldn't that uh, change the relative order of the elements? Because uh, um, what if like zero are in in between of those elements and uh, you? You put uh, the element to zero, but uh, but uh, that's not their relative order. Right? That's not the relative order of elements in the array. Uh, no, we 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 keep this relative order mm. of non non zeros uh, in in the array because we. Uh, uh, for example, if we have uh, if we have uh, this this array, so we we finally result we we get result uh, some some something like this. So we. Uh, keep this relative order. Mm. Yeah, but uh, what if like uh, it's it's um, one zero two? What if it's one zero um, just one zero two uh, mm -hmm. zero three? Mhm. Mm In that uh. case. Uh, three should be this. So in that case, this three should be assigned to the position of two, right? No, 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 no. Uh, two. Uh, 
but yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. But before we swap this two and zero. So uh, the third element of this array would be three. But this second element uh, uh, because will we, be here. We have swapped them, so the, so the yeah. zero position also changed. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, not sure why this is still not working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite strange. Translation <laughs> error. Any indented doesn't match any outer in indentation level. That's really strange. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably um uh, tell the website about it because I can't yeah. figure out. It. Yeah, I don't think there's any bug in the code or something, right? There's nothing. So the code should work, right? Mm -hmm. This this for loop is okay and everything should work. Weird. We don't mm -hmm. need to add a semicolon there because uh, it should know it's the next line. Yeah. Strange. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I think so, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go go ahead. Oh, I, I was saying like I think that that's the end of the session, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. What country are you from, by the way? Uh, yeah, I'm from China, but uh, but uh, I I studied in New Zealand uh, for for two years, and I worked mm -hmm. in New Zealand for uh, three years as a software developer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, so you are you are uh, uh, you are in China or in, uh, in New Zealand I'm now? Currently in New Zealand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. How about you? Uh, yeah. I'm I'm in Turkey. Uh, we moved he here uh, in Turkey in Turkey Antalya, uh, and we. Uh, but I'm originally from Kyrgyzstan, Bishkek. Oh. The, yeah, uh, I, I feel uh -huh. you, you you can speak uh, Russian, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I, yeah so it feels like you can speak Russian, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we moved here for uh, um, one month ago, mm. and we we plan to stay here for for a while. I don't know how much time we stay here, but yeah, we are here now. Yeah. Are you are you a software developer? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm software developer. I um, have been working for uh, as uh, and uh, as developer for 10 years, maybe. Ten years. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, the reason you are practicing algorithm is because um, it, it is useful to to uh, for interviews yeah 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 i, I think we have uh, uh we we uh, all here uh practice uh, algos uh, to be able to pass to to ace <laughs> algos interviews yeah. uh, for corporations mm. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I, where are you going to uh, to yeah. to to apply? Apply. Uh, um, I, mm -hmm. Not at the moment okay. because now I'm working from home, and uh, uh, so so my current company allows me to work from home. So which mm -hmm. is good because um because of COVID situation. So yeah. work, work from home is safer. So at the moment, I only worked for for five months for 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 this company. So mm -hmm. I I don't plan to um, change job anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. I think practice this is is good because working yeah. from home, you don't talk with people. So I practice mm -hmm. this. Uh, so there are two benefits, right? So first one is um, 
I can improve my <coughs> skills for the interview. Second one, mm -hmm. I guess I'm communication and yeah. 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 yeah exactly. 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 Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, it uh, was uh, uh, great uh, to have this practice with you. Sure. Sure. Do you have yeah. a uh, yeah. LinkedIn? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can, uh, if you have LinkedIn, you can add me. My name is uh, Xing Ru Chen. I I am currently in Gisborne, in Gisborne of uh, New Zealand. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Yes. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. I will try to yeah. find you mm. on LinkedIn. Yeah. If you have ten Whoa. years of experience, I think you can, you can, you can try to apply for for jobs uh, overseas. You know that should be easy yeah. to get uh, visa support and stuff. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I. I. Uh, actually, I was uh, um, approved by. Uh, I was selected uh, by Microsoft to be, uh, um, and I was invited to attend uh, uh, the uh, Microsoft hiring event in Prague, in Europe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's uh, fully remote, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, I just, uh, I just put put it off uh, uh, for summer mm. and uh, to be prepared well yeah, yeah so mm. uh, I see uh, I, 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 I I'm trying to find you okay yeah I see yeah uh, Okay, yeah, I sent you a request. Sure, I'll, I'll approve later once I have access to LinkedIn. Okay, okay, great. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, how I should uh, um, pronounce, pronounce your uh, name? Uh, my Xin name Ru? is yeah, Shinru. Uh -huh. Shinru. Yes. Shin yes. Shin yeah. Okay, okay. My name is Anwar. Uh, how to um, Anwar. Anwar. Um, <laughs> Anwar. <laughs> oh, Anwar. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can speak a little. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I've been practicing Russian as well. Uh, oh. I, I I can pronounce mm -hmm. the Russian uh, alphabet and uh, mm -hmm. I can speak a little bit Russian. So, for example, привет, как дела. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Хорошо получается, хорошо. Да. Хорошо, хорошо. Спасибо, спасибо. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and again, uh, uh, that uh, was my pleasure to uh, have in the time uh, so see you das bye and yeah do <laughs> <laughs> bye bye yeah see you bye